Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. In this video, let's talk about the latest update about the Insta 361 X2. We're gonna focus on a single feature, Stitch for Code Shoe. What does that mean? So this is One X2. So how does the Stitch for Code Shoe means in the latest update? And I'm gonna make some experiment and share with you my personal exploration behind the scenes. My name is Xun Guo. My YouTube channel is dedicated to 360 photography video and so much more now let's jump right in in the latest insta360 app you're gonna see the icon about the code through option did you see that in the latest firmware you're gonna see the stitch for code through and you can turn it on or off for the photo and the video how does it work and how does it affect to my photo or video so i decided to take some test shot with my accessories for Insta 361 X2. Actually, judging from the icon, you can see it's definitely this guy. This is the ULAN PT21. Did you see that? With this coastal mount adapter, you can mount a microphone or you can mount some flashlight or LED light to your Insta 361 X2. And this is the ULAN VR15. It is a tiny little RGB light. And I want to make exploration based on the PD21 and VR15. It works like this. So you can put this uh, mini LED light on the side of your Insta360 camera. And considering we can put it in either way, you can put it on the right or you can put it on the left. Uh, I'm going to take my first test shot based on this setup. So in this setup, you can see I have put this cultural mount on the right of my camera. And uh, it's aligned with the power button and the speaker. And next stop, I'm going to take the test shot on the right because you can put it either way. So I'm going to rotate my camera to this position. And later, I will go to my MacBook with the Insta360 Studio 2021. And let's see the before and after comparison. So before we dive right into MacBook Pro, I would like to share with you what the SD card I'm using right now because I think it will make your workflow more efficient. This is actually a, a 32 gigabyte TF card and uh, it's made by Toshiba. On the other side, you can see it is the standard UHS Mark II. The readout speed is much faster. It could be as fast as 200 megabyte per second. So when you capture a lot of videos, copy and paste will take you less time. To take the advantage of the UHS Mark II TF card, you're gonna use the standard UHS-2 compatible card reader. Okay, just drag and drop the files directly to my studio. Let's see the result. Okay, this is the test number one, and this is the test number two. I have put my code through adapter to the other side of the camera body. So you can see in this one, I'm gonna use this one to the flat view, so you can see the whole 360 shot in equal rectangular format. Okay, so let's see. Stitch with code shoe. Do you see that? I think nothing has changed, but if you take a closer look at the screen, you you're gonna see that there is a tiny little differences on the corner of my cell phone, on the top left corner of my cell phone. Did you see that before and after? This is, this is before and this is after. But on the right side of the image where I put place my LED light, there's nothing has changed, right? Nothing has changed. And let's take a look at this one. This one, I have put my uh, LED light on the... This is the first capture. In the first capture, I have put my code through mount in this orientation, right? So it was aligned with a microphone adapter. Let's take a look at this one. If we switch back the stitch method to code through, we have to see something has changed on the stitching area. The LED light is now more invisible, but it's not totally invisible, but definitely you can see a huge improvement before and after. Do you see that? Here's my personal conclusion for stitching method with code shoe option. Uh, it only works when you put your code shoe mount if you're perfect aligned with the microphone adapter. That, with that being said, uh, only if you put your ULENZ PT21 
align with your battery, the charging port, or a microphone adapter. Only you use in this orientation, it will work. And uh, it doesn't affect when you put it on this side. I think this is quite weird. And, uh, we can definitely think deeper about this option. I think the engineer has changed the stitching parameter only for one of the stitching line. That is the stitching line where it intersects with the battery door and the microphone adapter. And with that improvement, you can see uh, there is a much more space in the stitching area. So we can put maybe a bigger, a thicker, a longer accessory in this area. So why did Insys360 engineer enable us to have more space on this stitching area? Definitely a futuristic feature that uh, nobody has explained to you. On my perspective, it was designed for the PT21, but uh, judging from my the sixth sense, uh, there's definitely more to come in the future. I mean, more to come about the code show mount accessory. So maybe there is a second or third or even more various different design which has different shape. Like this PT21 is only the first generation of the code show mount adapter. Maybe you have the PT22, 23, or even PT30. So we have a various uh, code show mount option on this side. So why did they put this uh, code from uh, aligned with the microphone jack? I think it has something to do with the microphone, or we should say, vlogging with the Insert 361X. So I'm really excited to see the future about this camera because there must be something new to come in the future that could be adaptive with Insert 361X to help us make a better sound recorder, a microphone, or, or even we can put some invisible light on this area. Why is it not on this side? I, I don't know. I hope that when you put the code from mount on this side, line with the power button, the code from mount option also works because we can also put something more in this area. It should definitely be something creative and something genius. That is my conclusion up to now. And also I will give you some prediction about the future of this camera. So I think the One X2 it's becoming more and more interesting. I'm really happy. I'm really curious about its future. And in the future, I will definitely share with you an update with the latest feature, how to enjoy your One X2. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit notification bell. In the future, let's talk more about the Insta360 One X2. Until next time, bye.